Can I get flawless on the stage? Ask you why, looking flawless, flawless. Hey girl, hey, it's an Elsa, but of course you can call me Flawless and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be transforming this old closure wig to a totally different look. I'm going to be straightening it out. We're going to be bleaching, coloring, everything. So stick with me and come along and see how I transform this wig. So I'm going to be using this hair dye I got. It's black hair dye I got from the Dollar Tree. It was basically sitting in my house. I said, why not just use it? So I'm going to be hand brushing the color onto this hair. Yes, this is a long transformation, but I felt I wanted every single strand to be black. Next time I'm going to be using the watercolor method, but for right now, we're going to be brushing them on. Girl, I almost forgot to give you the deets. So this hair I got from Aliexpress. It's Maxica hair. It was curly, curly, curly. And when I tell you every single time I wore this hair, all I had to do was add some conditioner and go. Comb through and go, girl. So if you want some good textured hair, check out Maxica. I'm going to put all the details in my description box. So check it out. So actually hand painting, like hand coloring, brushing this hair was a pain, um, but I really wanted every single strand to be black, the color I actually wanted. But um, in actuality, you can just kind of water color the hair with black dye. Um, it's way more quicker than this system that I do in here. As you can see, I'm basically struggling. So yeah, you can try that. I'm gonna do another video where um, I'm gonna be doing the watercolor system but basically I'm just trying to go as quick as I can so we're just finishing the top part and the part that I actually parted out separate um, in the front I'm gonna be doing a skunk print so I'm gonna be bleaching the front um, just to get it a different look because I wanted to like basically reconstruct the hair to make it look completely different so I'm dyeing the back black and the front's gonna be bleached with a, like a honey blonde. So keep watching and see how I get that done. So here I'm gonna mix in the 30 volume clear developer um, which I got from Sally's Beauty Supply with the BW bleach so you're gonna mix everything up make sure that there's no loose powders in that mixture So I'm going to part the hair, comb it through, and I'm going to put a foil right underneath. Once you're placing bleach on the hair and you cover it up with foil, it's going to process way quicker, way faster, guys.
So I let that sit about a good 10 to 15 minutes. Six and a half hours later. It may be a process, but you have to go back and check just to see how far everything's transitioning. So as you can see, it went up a couple levels, but I'm gonna go ahead and saturate the hair once again, just to make sure that it processes evenly. Okay, so here is where I'm gonna be rinsing out the bleach. I washed it out and I'm going to be putting on some shimmer lights. That's the purple shampoo just to neutralize the hair a little bit to get it a little more less warm, a little more on the cool side, but it's still gonna be more of a honey blonde. So off camera, I went ahead and flat ironed the entire hair. So we're gonna be installing now. So here we go.
Okay, so here we're basically fitting on the wig just to make sure to see where I'm gonna be gluing it down. So here we go. Pulling on some glue. I think I did about two or three layers of glue. And each time you just make sure it's clear. So this is just a closure, so I'm not doing with the entire portion of my hairline. I'm just doing where the lace is going to be put down onto my hair. So this is the second placing of the glue. So second layer. So after all those layers, it's time to press down the lace. So yes, this is just the closure. So we're just basically doing the, my forehead, the top part of my forehead. I'm gonna press that down, grab a comb, and press that into my scalp. And now I'm getting a blow dryer just to dry out the glue. And once again, press it down, make sure everything's sticked into place. I'm grabbing a few baby hairs just to give it a little extra look. Because as you can see, you can still see the lace. I'm gonna hide it a little bit by just adding some baby hairs. After parting out the hair, I'm gonna cut it to my desired length of the baby hairs that I want. And then off camera, I went ahead and souped those edges and it's time to untie. Remember this hair was curly, so I'm trying to get it as straight as straight as I possibly can. So I'm gonna go over it again with um, the hot comb. And I was not liking how frizzed it was, so I went ahead and just curl the ends a bit just to hide that frizz. As you can see, the ends was just uneven and I really didn't want to cut the hair because in case I want to curl it again all I have to do is wash it and add some conditioner and it'll, the curls will come right back but I just wanted it a little more straight but I went ahead and curled the ends
So after curling the hair, I was really feeling that way much more in person. Trust me, this hair was looking, it was given. Here's a cute, some couple videos of how it came out. And here I went out. How do I look? Leave a comment below. What flawless is? I'm looking for flawless. Can I get flawless on the stage, please?